we're standing here in Coxin Hall, uh, top of the top of nice view here in Coxin Hall, the main city of the island, and there are some souvenir shops and and other stuff. And we have two two friends that just came out of the cruise ship. So, what are your names, guys? My name is Chris. And I'm Scott. Nice to meet you guys, and uh, we're gonna go see the island. What are you expecting to see today? I'm looking forward to introducing Chris to the monkeys and sloths. We're going to do the zip line. We're also going to check out a rum factory and a cake factory. Have you guys ever been here before, Chris? No, I haven't. I haven't been here at all. Have you? Only to the port. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. We were talking about exchange rates. Uh, once we're up here, we're talking about exchange rates. So, what was the question that you asked me? So I was just asking the conversion rates from U.S. dollar to Honduran. So it's very interesting that the exchange rate on Honduras is 23, 24 per one dollar. Uh, up here, you usually uh, like at souvenir shops, like here you pay with U.S. dollar, but like a grocery store, you pay with Honduran money. So uh, it's good for you to know that you can pay with uh, U.S. cash. And also, if you pay with PayPal, uh, there's a six percent fee. So uh, just for you guys to know. Uh, the exchange rate on the island is 24 per one, but like places like where we're standing now, we're standing at a place at where they sell gifts, gifts and, and and like like uh, how do you call this? Hot souvenirs and all that. Yes. Yeah. So like people take dollar up here, but uh, like if you want to go to a grocery store, they will take Honduran money. So it's important for people to know. But for example, like Scott paid me with PayPal. And so people need to know that when people pay with PayPal, there's a 6% fee that there has been charged. So I just thought that it was a good idea for customers to know that, that uh, about, about the exchange rate and the way that people can pay on this island. Uh, what are we going to be doing today, Scott? Uh, we're going to start today here with a little shopping area and then we're going down to do some zip lining. We're going to introduce Chris to some monkeys and some sloths. And then we're going to check out a chocolate factory, a rum factory, and then in the day at the beach, and then go back to the port. That is awesome. Uh, so you never hold a slot before? Yeah. Have you ever hold a slot before? No, I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what else are you expecting to see on the island? Uh, hopefully the beach. I'm definitely a beach person, so I got a little tattoos. Oh, <laughs> tattoos and, and, and tanning. Okay, so uh, is it your first time on this island? Not, not mine. I have been here before. Oh, yeah. oh what happened? <laughs> Hello, so this is the end of the tour here. We're finishing uh, from Carnival Vista with with Scott and Chris. So what did, what did we do today? Oh, we did a lot. We did zip lining. It had like seven different like little zip lining areas, and we did the sloths and the monkeys. So they were jumping around all over us. So that was fun. And then the chocolate factory, the rum factory. That was tasty. That was like beautiful. So you recommend you would recommend people to visit the island? Absolutely. Definitely come to Rotan. Very nice. Thank you guys.